what's good everybody welcome back to the channel this is Ruben it is my first day in Almaty which is a beautiful city in the south of Kazakhstan so it's my first day in the city I'm gonna have a walk I'm gonna enjoy a little bit the day and I'm going to see what are my first impressions of the place but today I am gonna take it very 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 easy I want to treat myself I'm gonna relax I'm a little bit exhausted from traveling from Kyrgyzstan to here and yesterday I had a very bad night of sleep in a hostel which made me change to another one today. I will not give reviews right now of bad things because I want to be positive. So today we are going to start the day with a lot of freaking energy. So far I can tell you this place looks very, very, very European. And what I'm seeing is the food offer is very wide. So let's stretch these legs and put up the big smile because today we are going to explore what is supposed to be one of the most popular cities in Central Asia. As it happened with Bishkek, one of the things that I enjoy the most about this city is that it's basically green. Almost everywhere that you go you have lots of parks and it gives you like a very comfortable feeling when you're walking on the streets. Especially now because it's very hot, so having some trees to cover us from the heat is marvelous. <laughs> Isn't that true Ruben? As for me, for every time that we come to a new country, we need to do some kind of routine which consists on getting a phone number with a little bit of internet to explore, uh, check a little bit of what we want to do on the next couple of days, if there's like any village or city around or hikes or something that we're interested to. I would love to give you more information right now about the places that I visit, but so far until I get some internet, the only thing I can tell you is Beautiful! Oh my god, what is that? Will it be in English? 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 No English! No! Next time, please, if people watch the video and you know what it is, just write on the comments so I can pinpoint it for the rest of the people to get a little bit educated about how this city is. If I remember correctly, when I checked on the maps before, that's the central state museums of the Republic of Kazakhstan but that could also be someone's palace but <laughs> the only thing that I know for sure is that if we follow this direction we will find the monument of independence so this feels like a good place to start the day and I also feel like perhaps there are some good coffee places where I can grab something to go on the way so we can finally start here our journey in Kazakhstan Very refreshing oh yeah It's amazing! There you go, Monument of Independence. Woo! Standing very tall in the middle of everything. It's beautiful. All right, so we just came all around the city. It was actually a big walk to come to see this statue on the prime location here with the fountains there, the stairs going up, the buildings over there. The place is quite gorgeous, I have to say. It is very little crowded right now because it's very hot, so it's completely normal that I'm probably the only person daring to walk like 20 kilometers on the street with like 34 degrees that is right now in Kazakhstan. It's very dry today, but this is gorgeous guys. Once you continue, you turn around from here, we get like this park going all the way down. All over here, they're already like residential houses, but you still get like a couple of cafes over here. So it gives like a good feeling of a nice place to live, right? Oh, this looks amazing. Let's have a tiny break. clock somewhere right all right done with the drink let's continue the walking I just got some Wi-Fi and I opened the couch surfing app in case I met someone that was traveling around the city as well so I think I'm gonna keep walking for a little bit and maybe in an hour I'm gonna meet a guy a tourist from Germany 
who is also traveling around and just wanted to have a coffee, have a walk and uh, have a conversation. So it's going to be nice to hear to someone who has been probably more than one day here and maybe get some recommendations of what to do for the rest of the trip in Almaty. So let's continue the walk. One of the exciting things I guess is this everywhere that you're walking you have loads of uh, restaurants here, restaurant there. You have lots of restaurants everywhere, which it's fantastic in terms of an offer. If you want to have any kind of food, you can find it. Uh, yesterday night, I was walking on the street with a friend, a friend that is living here in Armati, and she was uh, telling me a couple of tips for the city. Uh, and it was insanely crowded. Like I haven't seen in, the, well, in Kyrgyzstan is the only place in Central Asia that I've been so far. I haven't seen that much people on the street. Uh, people going party, people just having tea in different places so it feels like a very vibrant city in terms of socializing it feels quite good, I, I have to admit that today is Sunday and uh, everything seems a little bit dead but so far so good, I love the environment I love just walking on the street and having a little bit more privacy for me not having to be ditching people, not having to be dodging people all the time and most of the places that I'm seeing just generally make me feel that I want to sit down like have restaurants like this one which the outside is beautiful you have plants everywhere you have like beautiful arch here to come in and the people dress very nicely it feels like a very fashionable city it's just very modern oh wow beautiful I really like these kind of monuments in the middle of the city when you are still surrounded by green. So it makes them places where you can generally not only learn about culture but just hang out. So this park seems like a good spot where I would just pop in in here. Some friends, sit down, bring some snacks, relax and enjoy the beautiful day. This is gorgeous, look at this. All the flowers were here, we're getting closer little by little statues here look at all of this oh these colors the design is gorgeous wow <laughs> so this is the Kazakh and British Technical University wow can you imagine going to class here every morning one probably feels very important here Alright guys, we are in the park of the 28 Pamphilov uh, Guardsmen. This is gorgeous. Just met some uh, new friends in uh, Couchsurfing. Here, hello! Hi! <laughs> we're gonna have some food, relax, maybe have a drink. And I think we're gonna call it an early day today because everyone has plans for tomorrow. And I need to decide if I want to go to, um, to like some areas here in Kazakhstan or if I want to maybe continue the Syria in Kyrgyzstan because I feel like in this time I'm not gonna be able to show as much as I would like to do from Kazakhstan but I might be able to continue in Kyrgyzstan and finish what I started on the highest possible note so tonight is time to decide we'll figure first thing first let's have fun and for the English spoken people? Uh, <laughs> so, Great Russia, uh, we can go back. Um, behind of us, there is Moscow. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Okay. So handy to have someone who speaks Russian finally. <laughs> <laughs> and always, we want to try. Uh, uh, Our <laughs> Wow, that's delicious. They will call you now. Nice, thank you. Okay, bon appetit. Bon appetit. Mmm. Mm. It's so delicious. Really? The, the mantis is fantastic. I don't know, guys. I have a feeling that tomorrow morning I'm gonna go back to Kyrgyzstan just need to see how I wake up tomorrow in the morning maybe I don't feel like doing it but I feel like there's a couple of videos that I wanted to film as well in Kyrgyzstan that I didn't get the chance to do 
And to be fair, I, I think it's probably the best travel series that I've ever done. <laughs> and I feel like if, if I would do a couple more videos there, it would be very complete. So if any person just come to Kyrgyzstan and just stumble upon the channel, they will have a very, very, very good information about how to travel the country. And that is something that it really excites me. So we will see tomorrow. In any case, thank you for watching. I hope you liked Ilmati. I'll see you tomorrow.